Along with the regular text commands, we have the arc text command that allows you to place text along your curve. Now before you can use this command, you must first have a curve to draw the text along. The arc text command will use the curve to calculate the proper text orientation and location. So let's place some text along this centerline curve right here and see how it works. To start the command, I'll go to the draw menu and then arc text. Down here, it asks me for the arc that I want to place the text on, so I'll click on our center line here. And now the arc text dialog appears. Each one of these fields represents rows of text that are stacked on both the inside and outside of the arc. So I'll type the road name here on the outside. And on the inside, I'm going to put the word private because this is a private road. And now let's take a look at the results. I think that looks pretty good. Now let's click the edit button and go back in and look at the properties for this text. Of course, we have the text itself and we can freely edit it whenever we need to. Down here, we can change the direction of the text. And if you're typing in the dimensions for this curve and you need to enter a degree symbol, just click this link over here. On the second tab, we have additional properties, including the basics such as layer, color, and text size. And if we need to, we can also adjust the offset, row, and character spacing. Now, you most likely will never need to do this, but it's there if you need it. So let's cancel out of this and do another one. This time I want to put some dimensional data on this outside curve here. So once again, we'll start the command and select the arc. And now I want to enter the delta, radius, and some other curve info. I could manually type it in, but we can also pull it in from the arc that we just clicked on. And that's what these buttons are for along here. So on the outside, I'll choose radius and arc length. And on the inside ring, I'll just show the delta or central angle. There it is. Now, here's an important point to remember when you annotate curves like this. And that is that this arc that we used is not actually connected to the text at all. If you remember, when we started the command, the first thing we did was click on the arc. And because of that, the command used that arc to allow us to automatically pull in the information for it. But once we've placed the text in the drawing, the link to that arc is no longer there. In fact, if I move the arc, the text stays right where it's at. Now, the only time this is a problem is if you decide that you want to go back in and add some additional curve data. Because the arc is no longer connected, you won't be able to automatically grab the data for it. So let's do that and see what that scenario looks like. So I'm going to select the text and then click the edit button. And now let's say I want to pull in some additional curve data on this other ring right here. But when I try to do it, it tells me that that information is no longer available. And again, that's because the underlying arc is only used by the command the first time we use it. There is no link to it after that. So, that's a look at drawing text along an arc in the DCheck subdivide programs.